In previous versions of ARIS Commander, the software offered two workspaces by default. One for 2D, named Drafting and Annotation, and one for 3D. In this version, you will find a second one for 2D, named CAD General. The new CAD General workspace may look more familiar to you if you learn CAD on other programs, such as AutoCAD. In other words, it makes it easier to switch to ARIS Commander. In turn, the workspace drafting and annotation is the same as in previous versions of ARIS. Note also that if you are nostalgic and prefer the user interface with menus and toolbars, you can switch to the classic workspace. In the end, the workspaces allow us, in some way, to give priority to 2D or 3D tools. As we work with ARIS Commander, we may need to activate new palettes, even add tools or modify their position within the ribbon. The truth is that all these changes would be lost when changing to another workspace. Notice that now we return to the workspace we had previously and all the changes we make have disappeared. However, ARIS Commander allows us to save the changes in the workspace in use or create a new one. Thus, we can activate palettes that we usually need, then go to the workspace drop-down and choose Save Current Workspace. And in the pop-up box, we can assign a name. That can be a new name, or we can overwrite one of the existing ones. In this case, we will write a new name. Now we move to another workspace. Then we return to the new saved workspace. But there is more. Remember that we can change the dark screen mode to the light mode. For this, we turn to options, which we can also access from the manage tab. In the options box, we go to display and in the first option called user interface style, we can change from one style to another. The changes will be reflected when we restart ARIS Commander. On the other hand, from the Manage tab, we can go to Interface. Here, in the Customize box, we select UI Profiles, where we can change the workspace in use by double-clicking on the one that interests us. At the same time, we can select one of them and delete it. In this way, we can create all the workspaces that interest us and eliminate them when they're no longer needed. Pay attention that right here, this option appears that allows us to determine if the changes made in a workspace are saved automatically or not when we jump from one workspace to another. The truth is that there is also a quick way to change the style of the graphical interface from dark to light and vice versa. For that, we press the right button and choose the Switch UI Style option. Although, of course, you will have to close ARIS Commander and reopen it so that the changes are made. In the end, there are many new features in different areas of the graphical interface. For example, the Layer Manager palette allows you to maximize the size of all columns or optimize them. If necessary, we can even maximize a specific column. In short, small improvements that allow us to be more productive when working with ARIS Commander. To customize your workspace, you can also modify the ribbon and save it in your custom workspace. For more information on this, I invite you to watch another video that we created earlier on this topic.